And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast, with our final video. What? It's not our final video. Yeah, you're right. I was just kidding. Oh. Okay, well, I'm Joel. Just Joel. And, and I'm C. <laughs> and we've started and off. And this week, we're going to be talking about some knives from Steel Wheel, Crudo, and Cold Steel. Not to mention a few from brands we haven't had on the show yet, like Case, Riet, and Ohata. I'm ready to dig into these knives. How about you, C? Just Joel would change the subject to knives. However, I'm completely ready to talk about the knives on the table. But first, don't forget to blow up that like and subscribe button. And the bell right next to it. So you can stay in the loop with us and Atlantic Knife about new knives, knife news, and of course, videos starring me. Us. Silent sidekick. <sighs> I'm nobody's sidekick, okay? You know that. I, no. I'm the main event, okay? You're like the stand-up comedian, the opening act, you know, before the, before the show. It's not that people don't like the comedian, okay? But that's not why people bother taking it to the show in the first place, okay? Comedian, Huey Lewis in the News. Comedian, Queen. Comedian, The Beatles. Okay, catch my drift? Yes. Okay, good. It's replacement hip to be square. <sighs> You probably have that shirt on, don't you? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more like Goo Goo Dolls, Chris Rock. <laughs> oh my god, okay, just stop. Anyways, make sure you guys hit those buttons because no one likes being left out of the loop. Or put in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. And with that, sidekick, take it away. I'm not your sidekick, but... I will talk about our first knife, and that is the Steel Wheel Plague Doctor. You mean Plague Doctors? Yes, and you can suck it. How about that? He said doctors because we do have two to show you guys today. Um, this one uh, has a black G10 handle and a D2 satin finished steel blade with a bit of jimping on it. Uh, it also has a flipper stud with some jimping on it, and it also has a black backspacer with some jimping on it. I guess you could say that this knife is jimped out. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the overall knife weighs 5.4 ounces while the overall length is eight and one quarter. An interesting thing about this knife is that the blade design can be credited to a Mr. Varengi. You know, I'm looking at this knife and the shape of the blade kind of looks like a shark. <laughs> I'm half shark and half beta. Don't come near me. If you look at it a certain way, see, look. Mm -hmm. um, this knife also has a reversible pocket clip and a lanyard hole. This knife is a liner lock and it's only $67.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. The other steel wheel plague doctor that we have here also has a black handle. Mm -hmm. However, it is a bit different. Yeah, well, first you can see that the size is very significantly. Yes, that is true. This one here mm -hmm. is 9.6 inches, which makes it one that I would like. Reminds me of the Colosso when I was looking at it today. It weighs 8.5 ounces. It also has a black stonewash D2 steel blade instead of a satin finish one. Mm -hmm. This is also a bit more in price, but not much, because it's only $72.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. But for five bucks, mm -hmm. you're getting way more knife. A lot more knife. It's almost the other knife times two. Almost. Our next knife is the Crudo Vice Frame Lock. The what frame lock? The Vice Frame Lock. What? The Vice Frame Lock. One more time, I didn't catch it. The Vice <laughs> Frame Lock. See, chip. Really? <laughs> There's no need to yell, jerk. You know, I was just messing with you. Who's the sidekick <laughs> now, jerk? Huh? 
steal you. <laughs> the knife has a 9CR18 MOV stainless steel satin finish blade that has a unique reverse curve Tonto point cut. The length of the blade is 3.5 inches, while the overall length of the knife is eight and a quarter. It also has black carbon fiber inlays. No need to look at me or them. They know you like the CF. Just let the main event have her fun. Uh, this knife also has ceramic ball bearing washers, a ceramic ball detent, and two flipper studs. This blade also has a thumb disc, much like the Crudo knife we did last week. Mm -hmm. Although last week we didn't get to talk about um, the thumb no. disc that much. No, I mean, we didn't. we're making it up for this week, I guess. Yeah. You know, while you're using this knife, your thumb may want to like push up on the blade while you're using it. And the thumb disc really just gives your thumb somewhere else to go other than on the blade itself. You know, a place you definitely don't want your thumb going while using this knife. Uh, the thumb disc or thumb wedge, as Crudo ca Knives calls it, just supplies you with a better grip, a uh, safer, safer place for your finger, and allows for quick blade deployment. Because I think they said that this one's supposed to like deploy out of your pocket or something like, like that. Like the um, Emerson Wave feature. We mm -hmm. probably shouldn't say Wave since that's copyrighted to Emerson and Kershaw <laughs> uses it. But similar, not mm -hmm. exactly. This frame lock also has a reversal pocket clip and weighs seven and a half ounces. And like all Crudo knives, it has the iconic Crudo Knives logo on the pivot cap. If you guys really like this knife, you can find it on AtlanticKnife.com for one forty-five twenty. I think the Crudo Vice knife is definitely my vice. Wow, that was definitely a sidekick joke. As if, okay? We've all heard some of the puns you've made in the past. What kind of dog does not bark? Lord knows. A hush puppy. Smooth bone handle is amazingly boniful. Do you know why monsters are huge, hairy, and ugly? No. <laughs> Because if they were round, small, and smooth, they'd be M&Ms. Touche. But that's only because we are not allowed to demonstrate my level or type of funny. Mm, double touche. I don't think that works like that. I've heard it both ways. I've heard it both ways. You haven't. Uh, the next blade we're bringing you guys is the Case Cutlery Black and White Fiber Weave Mako. See? This is where the shark reference actually works. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Um, this knife has an ultra tough handle. It's made of specially woven combination of black and white carbon fiber and G10. This handle was obviously made to tolerate heavy use. The blade is easy to open and close, mm -hmm. but solid when locked into place. Yes, and there's no blade play. And of course, the blade locks into place because this is a lockback. Um, the blade itself is a uh, three and a quarter inches long with a clip point mirror polished blade uh, that's made of true sharp surgical steel. Uh, finally, this knife has brass bolsters and weighs about seven and a half ounces. You know, they've made many Makos over the years. Mm -hmm. This is just a, a newer version, but the standalone feature here being the mixture of carbon fiber and G10. You don't see that on case knives very often. No. Uh, lastly, this folder comes with a snazzy sidekick word. Not a sidekick word. It's the main events word, okay? Snazzy brown leather sheath. Because you gotta love the smell of leather in the morning. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. And this fantastic EDC with its sheath is only $109.99 on AtlanticKnife.com. Mm -hmm. Our next knife, flipping its way into our lives, is the FGX Valley Song. <laughs> wow. It's not a toy, but it's awfully hard to stop flipping it. At least that's what Cold Steel says. I've, I've never tried. Uh, knowing me, I'd probably take out my eye. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. 
same for me. This ballet song is made entirely of Grivex and other non-metal materials. The black five inch double edge blade features serrated edges. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what the materials might make you think, it is pretty sharp. I know I wouldn't want to be staring down the serrated blade of this knife. No one would. Finally, this ballet song is 11 inches overall and weighs about two ounces. And it's only 1484 on AtlanticKnife.com. I really like ballet songs. Mm -hmm. And we've only done one other one before on the show, it ha but it had a safety handle. And it was made of, uh, the handle was made of what, uh, what again? Bone. So it's a bone official citizen. Yeah, you made tons of bone puns, didn't you? Sidekick. Hold it up. Sidekick. No. No. Somebody's getting upset. Uh, I think this knife is pretty cool myself, um, and I'm glad it has a locking bar. We might have to get the pillow and water back out. I don't think so. The only one who's going to be needing a pillow and water is you. <laughs> also, Barbara. because of how light this knife is, it would be easy to take it anywhere with the flip of the wrist. Uh, our next knife is the Riet T2500 knife frame lock. Uh, the overall length of this knife is five and a half inches with a drop point M390 steel satin finish blade that's about two and a half on its own. Uh, this small but light carry also has black marble, ki marble carbon fiber uh, section on the otherwise all gray, gray titanium handle. Uh, it weighs almost two ounces and it has a tip up pocket clip. The designer of this knife, Tashi mm -hmm. Baruchi did a really great job at making this knife perfect for everyday use. I definitely see me carrying this around. Um, I think he did a great job too. The blade and the handle materials are all high quality and uh, just make the knife look very polished and tough at the same time. It's really ready for anything. Yeah, okay, I couldn't agree more. Uh, this next blade coming at you guys is the Ohata knife. Uh, it's the FK5 knife. This knife is very similar to the Deva blades mm -hmm. that we did a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It has a similar style and it uses the same materials. Being a friction folder, this knife is styled after a Japanese knife, not a Taiwanese one, known as Higunakami. It is about five and a half inches long with a forged finish D2 steel blade and a sheep's foot cut. Uh, this handle is made of simple maple wood and has just a little little tiny lanyard hole. Uh, it's the, This friction folder is super, super light. Um, and as a bonus, it does come with a black pouch. Would you crack open a cold one with this one? Of course. You wanted to say super duper, didn't you? No. I think you did. You can shove it. <laughs> it's one of those knives that... You just have wherever you go. I mean, it's mm -hmm. good for everyday jobs. I can see this as being a knife that I will have later on in life. No, not when you're old. When I'm old. It's a ways away, but I'm not that one far. Day. Not that far. And we Side all kick. Get there. This blade is different in terms of finishes because it has kind of like a rougher quality, um, which I think just adds to the style. It's simple but strong. I definitely could see me carrying this around in my pocket. And there it goes. Uh, that brings us to the last knife on the show, the Cold Steel Drop Forged Push Knife. You know, before we get to that... No. <laughs> don't you know that no. sidekicks are normally young and inexperienced? Like that show you watch, what is it? Is it don't. Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what it is. I think that's your show. You're getting me confused. I caught you watching it in the back earlier today on your break. So, <laughs> on yeah. My break. Yeah. Like I get one of those. Oh, yeah. This blade is made of 52100 high carbon steel and is four inches long. This tremendous carry weighs about eight ounces and its overall length is only 6.75 inches. So the blade makes up more than half of the knife. Very impressive. Not to mention, it's the largest push knife that Cold Steel offers. Uh, this knife spear point blade is double edged with a gray Teflon coating. Uh, it also comes with a secure X sheath, 
with a uh, utility clip that they like to shorten to ulti clip. <laughs> Guess it was too long to put on there. Um, this knife is only $67.49 on AtlanticKnife.com. Uh, this knife also is a single piece, which I think only strengthens the knife's resistance to damage, in my opinion. I'm sure this is one of those knives that people would carry on their thigh or their boot, so you can just have quick and easy access to it. Yes, I mean, it's a great tool, especially for me, the main event. Oh, contraire, mon frere. This knife's perfect for me, okay? <laughs> you keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. Superhero. Sidekick. No. Superhero. No. Oh my God. Yeah, I think you're not only not keeping the cold steel push knife, you're also delusional. I think we all know the delusional one here, and it's not me. Please, you're the delusional one. I mean, you're just as delusional as Wallowitz when he was Batman. I'm Batman. Oh. I mean, oh. Well, with that, we've come to the end of our show. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And if you want to get notified about our videos, just slap that notification bell. Okay. And with that, I'm Batman, and this is... Jewel. Robin. N no. Just Robin. Mm -mm. And we are... You see the bat symbol up there? No. It's the bat symbol, not the Robin symbol. The bat symbol. Yeah, signing off. <laughs> signing off. You think they bought it? I don't know. You know, they <laughs> probably learns. think that this stuff is scripted. I can tell that you're really angry. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. good. Oh, look! And we're back. <laughs> you guys you guys must have thought that we, we, we would leave. We wouldn't. We wouldn't leave without announcing the winner for the giveaway. Comment down below if we got you. Okay. With that, mm -hmm. we're going to cut straight to the chase and go to commercial. No, I'm just kidding. The winner is... So excited. Who's it going to be? You already know who it's going to be. I know. I was just putting myself in our fellow AKers place, all right? Okay. For real now. The winner is... Here we go. Joel. What? Stop interrupting. Just know your role. Sorry. No. Stay in your lane, bro. I know my role. <laughs> stay, you stay okay. in your lane. This is it. The winner is... Prepare for something amazing. Janet Stevenson. With the name of... A.K. Blades. Congratulations, Janet. Woo! Now, we want to say there were a lot mm -hmm. of great submissions. Yes, there were. I mean, there were several on YouTube, on Instagram. I mean, maybe we should mention a few that were that were considered, you know, we in should. the running. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to tell you, they were, I was, I was, I was surprised. Mm -hmm. There were at least probably 12 that I was like, wow, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we appreciate you guys and we appreciate your feedback. Uh, some other names that were considered. Sorry if I pronounce them, any names incorrectly. Sidekicks do. Blade Talk, suggested by John Smith. That's Captain John Smith. On the Edge, suggested by Alan Maestas. Uh, knife Addicts. The Sharpest Knives in the Drawer by Ivan Hell Cappuccino. <laughs> and finally, From A to Z on EDCs by Rick Hawkins. These were just a few of the great submissions we had and considered. We also considered, I'd like to say something about Rick Hawkins. Mm -hmm. Now, we shouldn't point out people here, but Rick Hawkins had a lot of great submissions. And I personally think, I, Rick, I voted for you. Dr. C's Knife TV oh was the greatest. This is what started this whole sidekick. Well, I mean. It, okay, give me the whole, sign. Give me, give me the sign. Unfortunately, mm. some people were not team players. Yeah, team I players. And we. Sidekick, team I should have made players. that side, like the cricky sidekick. Because mm -mm. it had a wee in it. Oh my gosh. We couldn't let the show's, be, show's name be your name. Remember, I suggested Jewel's show before this, okay? And it was shot down like the duck and duck oh. hunt, okay? You're absolutely right. You mm -hmm. never put the sidekick's name on the marquee. 
So thanks to everyone who participated in the giveaway, and we will continue to look forward to all your suggestions and comments about our show. And hearing about how great we are. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Main event is conceded. Main event. I have officially been vindicated. Okay, I am the main event. Okay, the coup de gras, the superhero. I am number one. I am the Rolling Stones. I am the Boston Celtics, the 1985-1986 team. Okay, not the present day ones. You're also looking for attention. Oh, you Please, can shove it. you're not cool enough to be the Boston Celtics towel girl. Mm, ha ha ha. All right, guys. With that. Mm -hmm. I'm C, and this is Joel, Sidekick Joel, no. and we are signing off. <laughs>